Now, okay, in this recording, we'll be talking about what are indifference curves, okay, and uh, what are very simple properties of these indifference curves, okay. Now, remember this, that most economic activity involves voluntary trading between individuals. That's true, okay. When someone buys, say, food, he's voluntarily giving up, say, money, okay, that is another good for something else, say, say, food for which is a, for a greater value okay now we have to formally design an apparatus for illustrating these trades clear yeah. so what exactly would that uh, formal apparatus be let us define the concept of indifference curves okay so let me draw this indifference curve for you. Now, this curve U, it represents all the alternative combinations of X and Y for which an individual is equally well off. Okay? He is equally well off consuming, say, at point A, and he is also equally well off, say, at consuming point B. Fine. So, this curve, it represents all the consumption bundles that individually, that, that, that individual ranks equally, okay? That is, all the points in this indifference curve are giving him equal satisfaction, they're giving him equal utility, clear? So, so what is an indifference curve? An indifference curve shows a set of consumption bundles among which the individual is indifferent. All of these bundles, they provide the same level of utility and the same level of satisfaction to this consumer. Well, this is not the only shape of indifference curve, I must tell you. So, we'll, as, as we'll go through the course, I mean, we'll understand what are the more shapes or what are different shapes of indifference curve. Well, this is the most general one. So, that is why we have picked it up here. Well, as you can see, the slope of this indifference curve which we have drawn is negative, okay? Uh, showing that if an individual is forced to give up some units of Y, he or she must be compensated by an additional amount of X to remain indifferent between the two bundles of goods, okay? So, as you move from point A to point B, there is some amount of Y which you need to give up in order to consume some more amount of X. Okay. Also, the curve is also drawn so that the slope increases as X increases. Okay. So, slope is increasing as you are moving from point A to point B. The slope is increasing, isn't it? That is the graphical representation of the assumption. What is, what is the assumption, okay? When you are at point A, you have more amount of Y. When you are at point B, you have less amount of Y. So, as you move from point A to point B, you become progressively less willing to trade away Y to get more X, okay? So, in mathematical terms, the slope diminishes as x increases hence we have the concept of what you call as mrs that is marginal rate of substitution the marginal rate of substitution is that the negative of the slope of an indifference curve at some point is termed as the marginal rate of substitution mrs is equal to minus dy by dx okay which is defined at some level u where the notion indicates that the slope is to be calculated along the u1 curve, okay. The slope of this curve u and the MRS, okay, therefore tells us something about the trades this, this individual is going to make, okay. At points such as A, the person has a lot of y and less of x and he is willing to trade away a huge and huge amount of y in order to get an additional unit of x, okay. The indifference curve at this point is therefore steep. 
okay um well this is also a situation where the person has more amount of of y as compared to x okay on the other hand if you move to point b he has less amount of y and more amount of x now he would be less and less willing to give up amount of y now to get one more unit of x okay and consequently mrs it diminishes okay between point a to point b the changing slope of this curve okay this indifference curve it shows how particular consumption bundle available influences the trade this person will freely make so so what is being said is this that this person has a certain level of indifference curve this is what we have understood okay what is that indifference curve this is what we have understood all the points on the indifference curve are giving the equal or same level of satisfaction or utility to this consumer this is also we have understood indifference curves this indifference curve is drawn negative negatively slope and the slope increases as x increases and what in 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 a very uh, simple notion we have also understood what do you mean by mrs okay and as you move down along the indifference curve mrs diminishes so these are the learning points through this recording okay thanks